third person I prayed for, his name was, um, not Angela, his, his name was, um, anyway, it was an Italian name, and uh, he looked at me and I said, what is your problem? And he said, I have been in pain in my back for 10 years. Reverend Stone King, he said, there are discs in my low back bulged out. They can't help me. I've been in pain for 10 years. He said, I need a miracle. I laid my hands on his head and prayed a simple prayer in the name of Jesus Christ and commanded him to be healed in Jesus' name. He opened his eyes when I stopped praying. I said to him, is the pain gone? His eyes got wide. He said, it's gone. He bent double. He bent backwards. He went to the right. He went to the left. He said, brother, he said, brother the pain is gone. And then he grabbed his low back. He said, the bulges are gone. The discs have gone back in place. He said, Reverend, everything's all right. He began to jump up and down. He began to shout. He began to worship God. There were four notable miracles right there in that room before those delegates, and four of them received the baptism of the Holy Ghost in that room. Just about a month or so ago, he was baptized in Jesus' name, and his wife came to witness it. People, God is moving in this hour. He is moving in this hour. He is moving in this hour. People, it's now or never for us. It's now or never for us. So after that, Brother Wilson said, well, I'm here tomorrow teaching my regular Bible study. Why don't you stay over and just preach the Bible study at one o'clock? I said, I can do that. So I went back to my room that Wednesday night and I said, Jesus, what shall I tell them? He said, tell them about my name. So I sit down and wrote down what he gave me. I attacked Matthew 28, 19 and wiped it out. Established baptism in Jesus' name is the only way to ever get rid of the sin issue in your life. The sin issue in your life is never settled until you come out of water in Jesus' name. They got it. I went through the oneness of God. I said, There are not three, there's only one. I got they got it. Those people got it. They got it. They got it. I said, for example, when I pastored the first time, I ran a big page in the local newspaper offering a $100 reward for anyone that could come forward and prove to me in the New Testament church anyone had ever been baptized in the titles Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I offered a $100 reward. No one ever came to collect it because it's not in the Bible. <laughs> it's a man-made doctrine. It's not a biblical doctrine. I said, then, I said, I offered another hundred dollar reward a couple weeks later for anyone that could show me that any infant had ever been baptized in the New Testament church in the beginning. No one ever came to collect the, the reward because it's not in the Bible. It's not in the Bible. It's a man-made doctrine. People, we need to get back to the Bible. We need to preach this like we never preached it before. Tell you what I am in this, what they do. I couldn't care less. I got it, and I know that I've got it, and this world needs it, and we need to give this gospel to everybody we come in contact with. We've got nothing to lose, everything to gain. Everything to gain. Cut your hands again. All kinds of things have happened and are still continuing to happen. But on April 22nd, just over a month ago, I was contacted by the secretary to the secretary general. And she said, Brother Strong King, she said, your name has been selected 
to address the General Assembly of the United Nations.